Hello, I'm Nick Poulin, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at an extremely rare museum-grade Heinrich Kriegoff second model German FG-42 paratrooper rifle. There are very few military arms that garner the interest of the German FG-42 paratrooper rifle. It was designed during World War II to function much in the same capacity as the US BAR. It was more portable than the German crew served heavy machine guns and was chambered in the same 8mm round which performed terrific and was already in great supply in the government inventory. It was reported to have been fielded by the German Luftwaffe in the rescue of Mussolini and is a direct descendant of the wildly popular class of modern assault rifles. Although it may not have been optimal in every area, it could perform tasks previously reserved for specific systems such as the submachine gun, the heavy machine gun, and even rifles. The FG-42 was developed by Rheinmetall Borsig for the German Luftwaffe and utilized an ingenious firing control mechanism where it fired from a closed bolt for a more accurate semi-automatic fire, and it fired from an open bolt while fully automatic is selected to run cooler and help to avoid cook-offs under heavy fire. This was accomplished by the use of a swivel-mounted sear which was moved left or right to engage the proper sear notch for the preferred function. The bolt design was heavily influenced by the Lewis machine gun and lived on for many more years where its similarities were shared with the US M60 machine gun. The FG42 is gas operated and the reciprocating charging handle is affixed to the piston on the right side of the rifle. The rifle used the now common straight line stock configuration where the recoil system continued into the sliding detachable shoulder stock. The barrel is terminated with a coarse thread that hosts a unique and effective muzzle brake consisting of 10 fins in 103 ports. The ports were staggered with each fin hosting 11 ports and 10 ports with the final fin holding 8. The brake measures just over 3.5 inches in length and is secured with a spring-loaded arm on the top of the barrel forward of the front sight assembly. Mounted to the rear of the muzzle brake below the barrel is a stamped folding bipod that folds rearward completely encompassing the unique spike bayonet which is carried facing rearward when not in use and its tip captured and protected by the forward section of the gas system. The bayonet measures approximately 10 and 3 quarter inches and is retained by the spring-loaded locking mechanism. It has four deep grooves and a very pointed tip. The front sight measures just over 2 inches in length when it's unfolded for use and consists of a hooded post. The rear sight is a folding spring-loaded peep sight adjustable from 100 meters to 1200 meters and is adjusted by depressing and turning the barrel below the aperture. It measures approximately two and a quarter inches when presented for use and fully extended. The magazine holds 20 rounds and presents from the left side of the receiver. In typical German fashion, even the magazine well is over-engineered, boasting two dust covers, one on the top and another one on the bottom of the feed section. They are spring-loaded and disengage with the press of a single button. The ejection port is on the right and directly above the pistol grip. The brass deflector at the rear of the port consists of a bent and riveted piece of steel. The safety and selector fire controls are located on the left side above the pistol grip. The stock and the forend are hardwood, while the pistol grip is a brown bakelite in a much more traditional angle when compared to the first model FG-42, which had a sharper rearward facing angle to it. This example bears the visible markings on the top of the receiver with two Kriegoff proof marks above the FZS for the Heinrich Kriegoff factory code, with FG-42 over the serial number. The left side of the trigger has the Kriegoff qualification proof code and the left side of the trigger group is marked with the E-D to switch the function from semi-automatic closed bolt operation to the open bolt fully automatic function. The condition of this ultra rare paratrooper rifle rates extremely fine museum quality with all matching numbers and matching parts. The several other areas such as the gas assembly trigger group include the FZS Heinrich Kriegoff factory code. It is accompanied with an original 1942 Kriegoff 20 round magazine and an original sling. 
The bore remains bright with strong rifling and the firing control mechanism functions when cycles by hand. The FG-42 was extremely time consuming and expensive to produce and eventually was faded out of manufacture, with combined with the declining priority given to paratroop divisions of the Luftwaffe, it quickly faded away in favor of other weapon systems. If you like this video and want to learn more about quality collectible World War II firearms and accessories, then visit our website at poolandauctions.com. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay safe, and send it downrange.